Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we have a player review for you all. A very special player review because it is on Flashback Sergio Aguero. So a big thank you to the friend who did let me on his account to actually review this special Aguero card because he is quite expensive and I didn't know whether to do this card on my account. So it's a good idea for me to test him out first and then hopefully tell you guys whether he, he is worth completing or isn't. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoy it. Smash like down below if you do. And let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this review of Sergio Aguero's flashback card, which is actually two ratings lower than his regular card. Yes, you heard that right. And I think this is a really cool idea. Well, not really an idea. I mean, a lot of people could think, think of this idea, but it's an opportunity for you to actually introduce some new cards. We could see a Messi, for example, 90 rated. We could see him 88 rated. And it's just a really, really cool idea, I think, because it allows them to move around the pace, the shooting, and that is what we have seen with this card. He has 88 pace. Downgrade on the shooting, but it is a nice looking card nonetheless. 88 pace, 85 shooting, 75 passing, 90 dribbling, 36 defending, and 74 physical on a card that comes in around 450 to 500,000 coins. So that is one big point about this card. He is expensive for an 87 rated. That is a hell of a lot of coins. And if you think you had, have them coins liquid, you can get a Rashford in form. I think maybe not close to getting a Rashford in form. You can definitely get a Ben Yedda in form, which is around 300,000 coins. Five foot eight, high medium work rate, right footed, four star, four star. That is what you like to see. Four more strikers on this game. In-game stats, 93 acceleration, only the 84 sprint speed. I would have liked to have seen the more balanced out, maybe a 90 acceleration, but an 87 sprint speed. Have it a bit more even. 89 attack positioning, 90 finishing, which is brilliant. 84 shot power, 79 long shots. That's quite poor, but really in FIFA 21, are there many long shots? 81 volleys, 71 penalties, 81 vision, 68 crossing, 71 free kick accuracy. 81 short pass, very nice. 62 long pass, not great. 81 curve, 90 agility, 93 balance, absolutely superb. 92 reactions, 91 ball control, 90 dribbling, 85 composure. He's got 26 interceptions, but we don't really care about that. 85 heading accuracy, which is nice because you score a few headers in FIFA 21. Only 79 jumping though, which he's not really going to be too tested with. 84 stamina, 73 strength, and 64 aggression. So you can see, it's a strange card. It is a strange card because he's had really nice boosts to the dribbling, the pace, but he's had downgrades in other stats. So it is a weird one. It's one thing to consider what type of card are you looking for when completing a card like this flashback Sergio Aguero. Traits wise, he has the injury prone trait, leadership trait, and the chip shot CPU trait. So that is obviously going to be a con, a lack of traits for a card you're paying so much for. I would like to see more traits that outside the first shot traits and a few other ones in there. But this is the team we used to in. It is a fantastic team with Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, Sancho, Son. I did play co-op and yeah, I can tell you one thing about this team. That Nick Pope was awful. He was almost like a ghost in goal. Everything just went through him. But we played a bunch of different formations. 4-4-2. Uh, I think we played 4 triple 2 we played pretty much everything. I don't think there are any instructions on this Sergio Aguero, so what you are seeing is just us controlling Aguero and the CPU just positioning him as well. But let's not waste any more time, let's get into some Division Rivals matches where you can really see what this card is like and really decide, is he worth you guys actually completing this SPC? Because he is a lot and it's one thing to consider, is he going to be in your team? In a couple of months guys that is one thing that i like to think of when doing an spc when i complete young min son i know young min son will be in my team for a couple of months into the new year and he will be a fantastic addition to my squad sergio aguero is he going to be that for you well i'll tell you some of his pros and one is definitely acceleration he gets a nice little burst when he has the ball at his feet and that is what you want to see i don't think you get that with this card it reminds me of the scream aguero last year he felt quite quick and this aguero definitely Gives you that feel of having a pacey Sergio Aguero back in the game. And everyone knows pace is key, especially with strikers this year. His finishing, top notch. Inside the box, absolutely brilliant. There are a few times where we miss chances, but honestly, I think it just comes down to user input. Probably the best shot uh, type with Aguero is the low driven finesse. Seemed to work really nicely or at the near post. His shot power isn't the best, but inside the box he was clinical. And you see there, we miss on his left foot. I don't think that's a problem with his left foot. It's just the wrong shot type for us to actually take on. 
Four star skill moves, four star weak foot. His weak foot, that again, that is an awful shot, absolutely awful shot. But his um, four star skill moves, nice. You can do the Berber spins, he performs them nice and quick. I think the dribbling was absolutely phenomenal. And you see a few times in this video where his dribbling, you just it just oozes class, really, really nice ball control, nice and composed. And you see a lovely pass there, and that leads me on to the next pro. Passing was brilliant. The short pass for a link up player, I like to play two strikers up top. Don't know why he's running around Rashford there, but. I like to play two strikers up top. Sergio Aguero was able to do that fantastically because his passing was so good. Movement and positioning, very nice. You need strikers to be in the right position at the right time. Otherwise, they will not get goals. When you kick the ball upfield, they will be in the wrong spot. And Aguero, he did really nice. A really nice running behind here. And I was in control of Aguero here. Tried to do a ball roll, finesse it round. Just get tackled by the goalkeeper. Pretty unlucky in my opinion. And yeah, I would say just his overall involvement in the game. I think sometimes with strikers, they can fade in and out of games. Aguero definitely didn't do that. Now, I'm highlighting Aguero for the opponent here because he had the flashback Aguero. I thought I'd just show you his goal as well. May as well because he did score some nice goals with that card. As for the cons, I would say the long pass. The long pass on the card was disappointing. For a striker, you want them to be able to do the long passing. You think of Harry Kane. He is the complete striker in world football at the moment. And Aguero doesn't have that long pass to really drop deep and hit the balls long. Curve, a few times with the finesse shots, as he scores a beautiful finesse shot. I look like an idiot, that always happens, but curve on the card just isn't great. And that does let you down in some certain situations with the finesse shot. Traits-wise as well, I mentioned it in the intro. Traits-wise for the card, not the best. would like to see the outside the foot shot trait, especially with him only having the four-star weak foot. Long shots, FIFA 21, how many long shots do you do? It's just one thing to consider though. Long shots were kind of underwhelming with the card. You can't really get that shot power that you do need. And the sprint speed, only 84 sprint speed I do believe. I don't think that's good enough for a card on this game. He gets up to speed quickly with the acceleration, but he's not really traveling once you get him up to speed, which is frustrating. But again, four games, seven goals, three assists. It is a pretty nice return, and I have to say, I was impressed with this card. I feel like as time went on, we really liked him. I thought he was a very nice card. Is he as good as Son? I would argue not, because of the five-star weak foot, the pace, the strength, the stamina. Son is just a more well-rounded player, and definitely more meta than the Sergio Aguero. I'm going to give him a 9.1 um, as a rating. I just think that's what he... He is good. I think that's just where he settles at. He's a good card. Don't get me wrong. He's a really, really good card. And if you complete him, you probably won't regret it because he'll do a really, really nice job for you. But I just think there's something missing here with this card, as there is with every Sergio Aguero card. I had his team of the season last year, and it really didn't do too much for me. I was quite underwhelmed by it, to be honest. So this Sergio Aguero, he did a good job. But unfortunately, 9.1 rating for me. If you want to do the SBC, if he fits your team nicely, I would say go for it. If he's going to fit in your team for the next couple of weeks, couple of months, go for it again. But for me, there's just something missing. 9.1 rating. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. And I'll see you all in the next one.